Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Livestock. Right, this is AIO installation. A few people have said they wanted to see it, so continue to watch. Okay, so first you want the AMD brackets for AMD or the Intel brackets which are included in the box as you can see you mount one there 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 and there they come with these plastic little washers but here as you can see it spaces to keep it from flexing the motherboard so once you've done this and they're like that you will see am4 right there and there on each side so you don't forget which way they go now we add the thermal paste. Thermal paste. So, what I'm going to do is that's about it. That's about it. That's all you need is about that much. Okay. Okay. So now you've got to select what orientation the radiators going as my case it's going like that so what you want to do is you want to point your fans at that direction so the cables when you install the rad on to the case is the cables right at the back so all you want to do is take these long screws that comes with it go like that screw that in So now the fans are installed, all three of them all installed as you can see right by here. Now what you want to do before mounting this to the CPU at all, don't install it yet. What you want to do is bundle up all the cables like this, and grab it like this. Now what I do is I place it by here, like that for now. So I can actually put my fans through. So like this, start pulling these through. Yeah, it's probably not the most elegant way of doing it, but it's a lot harder once it's installed to actually put all these cables through. So right, then like this and you pull them all like this. Okay, like that, and like that. Okay, so. Okay. Right. Now, you take these screws that are included, and you put one here on top, which you can just take a basic screwdriver and you screw it in. One. Now that will just sit there for now, like this, and then once you've got basically two edges done, it will just sit in place for you to do the rest of them. So, here we go. Now, for peace of mind, I would install all of them to make sure that the radiator is in place fully. Obviously, you don't have to. You can just put uh, one screw on both sides and by there and two in the middle, and that would keep it up. But I usually tend to use all of them. But that is just me. I just worry, make sure nothing breaks, nothing falls out. Whoops, it's easy. See, even, even tech reviewers, even guys who, who build computers, 
make little tiny mistakes like dropping a screw. Also, the fans I'm using by here are the um, the ARGB light wings from Be Quiet. If you want a pack of these yourself, I will put a link in the description. Right. So, right, that is done. Now, all the screws are installed. Sorry, except one. Okay, so. Now, they're on, all installed. So, now what we do is we grab this, put this bit here. Now, I want to zoom in. I'm going to show you what to do. So, Okay, so you haven't got to actually lay your case flat for this part, but I like to. As you can see, there's the brackets. Now you want to line them up like that. Leave it by there. Now you want to start screwing one on one side. Now this particular cooler is actually... Okay, so this particular AIO is actually done both sides. So there's no way of over tightening, but I like to do... Go one side for a little bit and then go the next then go there so this will officially spread the thermal paste outwards so right okay so i believe that is done now right so that's done now what you want to do is grab the pump cable like this and you want to plump, plump, plug it in where it says pump fan one that is for the pump itself so we go like this and then we push down like that and that is installed so so then guys that is AIO installation guide now I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check Check me out on Facebook and also don't forget to check me out on, on TikTok and Instagram. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.